anti-Semitism. On Monday, Bernie Goldberg is going to come on and talk about his personal anti-Semitic experiences, if any. Right after that, we have Re- Bishop Robert Barron, perhaps the most articulate Catholic spokesperson in America. It's going to be a fascinating program on Monday. Just give you a heads up. Okay, so the House approved Resolution HR 927 condemning testimony from the three college presidents, MIT, Harvard, and Penn, that would not say calling for genocide of Jews violated their school policies. This is how insane this is. So the House voted 303 to 126 to condemn the uh, president's rhetoric of the three schools because they wouldn't condemn the genocide comments. All right, 125 Democrats oppose that resolution. Uh, no Republicans. Um, but I, I mean, I'm just, I said earlier in the program, how could, I just can't support this party. And I used to vote Democrat, not down the line, but now I can't vote for any of them. It's just so crazy. So, uh, as some of you know, I'm an alumnus of Harvard. Okay. So the president there, Claudine Gay, is under fire because she was terrible in front of the House committee. And uh, she's surviving because the board of trustees at Harvard go, we, we like her because she's an uber progressive. They love her. But Now, there's a discussion that the only reason that President Gay is under scrutiny at all and that getting a pass from the trustees is because of her skin color. CNN, of course. Go. She is being singled out as someone who is only surviving because of her race. What did you make of that? Well, it's racist. I mean, we have no one has produced a shred of evidence that shows that the sole qualification uh, that um, uh, President Gay had was that she is a black woman. That's insulting. Um, It defies logic. And the fact that of those presidents who all came under intense scrutiny, that only one has been called out as a so-called diversity or affirmative action hire, just speaks to what black women in this country have gone through historically and continue to go through every day. All right. So the uh, president of Penn who was fired is white. All right. There was no skin color discussion there. But because President Gay is black, all kinds of skin color discussion, just so you know. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode, anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.